welcome to Blanchard Machinery. This is the hydraulic cylinder shop where we uh, tear down the cylinders and uh, rebuild them for our customers. If you take a look over here, we have various benches depending on the size of the cylinder. Uh, we have a medium sized bench here and we go all the way up to a large bench right over here at this one. And uh, we can handle uh, very large cylinders for like a 6020B. Um, in the back is a manual bench that you'll see back there over on the right. Uh, those are really designated for the smaller cylinders. And we have an internal wash rack. We want to clean our components, make sure everything's clean before we disassemble. Then we clean those internal parts and reassemble with the new uh, parts, obviously. And this is part of our five-star contamination control that uh, we're certified by Caterpillar in. Over here is the storage bench where we keep parts that are waiting uh, for parts to come in or cylinders that are done. And once they're done, we're, they're painted. And then we send them back to the various stores or directly back to the customers. All right, this is our main machine shop. As uh, we were in the other building, I, we had a slight uh, portion of that. Over here is the much larger portion of our machine shop. Here's where we salvage a lot of parts, uh, whether it be final drives, cylinder blocks, or uh, hubs, or we can do cylinder eye, uh, barrel eyes. So a lot of work can be done in this facility. These are uh, CNC machines, so we can plug in a lot of dimensions in the computer and get a very accurate uh, product at the end. So not only can we salvage parts for Caterpillar, but we can also handle other uh, manufacturers as well. And we've done some off the wall stuff, such as Griffin Gear, where we've uh, done large gear boxes for them, machined them, and we also have the capability to spray weld, which is essentially putting another coat of metal on the product and then machining it back into specifications. So a lot of stuff can be done in this area, and it's a very valuable tool for Blanchard machinery. As uh, we talk about the machine shop, this is typically a metal generating area. So as part of our five-star contamination control, we have these flaps here to make sure that we don't get cross-contamination into our specialization shop, which we're gonna visit next. So this area here is our part staging area. We get all the parts in that we order, and Jeff Hoffman is our parts expediter. His responsibility is to go through the parts, ensure we got the parts that we ordered, and organize them and sort them out in order to get them to the technicians in the bays that we're gonna go into the spec shop next. So as you can see, the different bays, each technician is responsible for the component from start to finish. As with larger, probably mining dealerships or whatever that deal with the same product over and over, these technicians take it from start to finish instead of having an assembly line, and that's because of the diversity of our population of equipment. So we can have a large hammer, we can have a small skid steer engine, we can have a large mining engine. So that affords us the ability and some pride of ownership for the technician to take, disassemble the engine, inspect it and build it and test it and ship it out to the customer and gives a lot better quality product to our customer because of that. The advantage of having the components come here to our uh, spec shop is that the guys are highly trained in looking at the uh, service information system, the product updates. They know about the various torque specs and keep up to date with that stuff. And that really provides a good product back to the customer for another life of the component for the machine and also profitability for the customer. While we continue our tour for the spec shop, uh, one piece of equipment that we have here is a torque arm. What this allows us to do is torque cylinder head bolts on the larger engines. It can capture the torque, it can give us a readout. This allows the technician uh, from a physical standpoint not to exert so much force pulling on a torque wrench. So that helps out quite a bit. So as you step into this uh, dyno room, what we have is a 2200 horsepower dyno. And we have various uh, after cooling setups. A lot of the equipment nowadays has uh, multiple after coolers on it. So we've added some uh, cooling capacity there. And what the process is in this room is very important. So once the technician builds the engine, we bring it to the dyno room and we run it up at about low idle 
we let it warm up, we check for leaks. At the same time, we're gonna bring it up to high idle real quick, and then we're gonna shut it back down. We're gonna cut that first set of oil filters. What we're looking for is anything going on inside the engine we can't see or hear. So they'll inspect the filters, usually see a little bit of debris from normal break-in. Anything you know, excess is gonna be further inspected more, we may have to pull the engine off. Very rarely does that happen, but that is why we do that test. Once that is done, they'll run the engine at full load for about an hour, hour and a half. Inside this control room, they'll monitor the horsepower, the temperatures, the fuel pressures, all of that, making sure that it's up to spec. Again, they're gonna come out and visually inspect the engine for leaks. Our oil has a little bit of a dye in it, so they can easily see those leaks if they occur and can address them properly at that time. Once this is done, the engine rolls back out. It is prepped for shipment, uh, actually for paint, and then for shipment back to our customer. As we continue on with our tour of the spec shop, we're gonna walk this way. As you can see, we have a lot of equipment, a lot of special tools. One thing that I'd like to point out is our, our cleaning equipment here. We have smaller stations around the spec shop. Uh, this is a uh, 48 inch high, 36 inch turntable uh, CUDA washing system. And this one here is our Stingray. This will handle 35, 16 blocks set upright. Again, a large piece of equipment, lot to maintain. So we have a small one and a large one. We try to use a small one as much as possible and the large one kept for our larger components. As we move from our inside wash bay, we have a few more bays here that we use for powertrain. Uh, that's transmissions, final drives, hydraulic pumps, etc. Again, you can see some white cloths in different stages. Again, well, that's part of our five-star contamination control in order to prevent uh, any uh, issues with the transmission when it goes back into the machine or a low hour failure or whatever. We want to give the longest possible life to the customer that we can. And the last stop here is our hydraulic test bench. This is about a year and a half old. The advantage of this one over the new one, even though it looks similar, is that we're able to show a dyno test sheet or a hydraulic test sheet that shows the pressures that the transmission ran at. And this is very important for two reasons. One is that the customer knows that everything met uh, specifications. And the second thing is, is that if there are any issues in the machine during uh, installation or running it, we can refer back to those to see what it was at and see if there, we didn't catch anything or ensure that it is not the component and maybe an outside system causing the issue. In addition to the machine shop, which you've seen, where the components come to us, we also have the availability to send a technician to you. And again, if you have any questions, please call us. All right, this concludes our tour of the Component Rebuild Center, CRC. My name is Lee Rafford. If I can be of any assistance to you, please call 844-BLANCHARD and ask for me by name. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day.